What you just saw are counters. The counter element is actually something that you see quite often on websites. Sometimes they are used a little bit inappropriately, and in this case, they are used very well and effectively. With what you just witnessed, you know exactly what the counter is. It is something that counts from the number zero all the way up to the number that you have predetermined. And it draws the attention of your user. It's like a wow factor when people come to your site. It's a bragging right. You want people to look at it. And before I show you how the counter element in both the free and pro versions of Brizzy work, a word of caution. People use counters sometimes to display really silly things like how many cups of coffee drank when you are talking about a team working on a project. I know that shows kind of the commitment of the team, but it really doesn't say anything at all. I've seen people drink thousands of cups of coffee and never achieve anything in their life. So you really have to think when you think of a counter, what is the purpose? What do you want to brag about? For example, you see here projects completed. This tells the client, hey, we've done a lot. We've completed these major projects. And out of that, we have 102 happy clients, which is strange how you can only complete 87, but have 102 clients. Anyway, let's skip that. Lines of code, okay, that shows again how hardworking you are. And the awards, these are things that are very important. The second thing you have to remember about a counter is that it counts. So it gives the idea of something that is in motion. 87 projects today, 88 tomorrow, 89 the day after that. Happy clients, you know, same thing, and our awards will increase. When you satisfy those two requirements, something that you want to brag that you have achieved, as well as something that you expect to grow in the future, then you can use the counter. Let's activate this page into Brizzy. We go, edit page with Brizzy, and then we start building our own counter and look at what you can do with it. So here we have these pre-made ones that we have on this site. Go to add elements and go down here. You'll see the counter element. Drag and drop. Let's put it in this column as well. And you see by default, it's going to count up from 0 to 100. Let's click on it. And over here, we go to the settings of the counter. Open that. You have a start, an end, and a duration. Let's see what we want to say in this case. We want to talk about how many franchises this business have. Currently, they have four, and in the future, they will have more. So you're going to start it at zero, and then you're going to count it all the way up to four to show people that it has grown all the way to four. Now you have to make it look at least a little bit, well, interesting. That one, two, three, four, Truly very boring. So you have to take it down to something that is just a little bit more appealing on the eye, like 0 0.5 seconds. Though it can go all the way up here to 25 seconds, I have hardly ever, never seen this been done on any website because it just takes too long and people are going to go into a coma while watching your site. In fact, they're going to leave your site. The two seconds is the maximum I would go. I like to go for one second or like a 0 0.5. And that's it. That's what you're going to do. Then you can go and style the topography over here as well as the color. And you have hover functions as well. And then alignment for placing it within the container. One more advice I want to give you is large numbers. Let's say you have a number here like 1,400. Those are the amount of shops that you've opened. It's sometimes a little bit annoying when something counts all the way, and let's put it here on, let's say, three seconds, to have it count all the way like that. That's just way too long. So what you do is you put it on a thousand. And now when it counts up, it is just a little bit more reasonable, doesn't look like you're playing the lotto, and it's much more pleasing on the eye. Another tip I want to give here is this one that you see over here. What we've done here is within it, we've also brought in a text element. You can see this is a text element. If I right click, it will say text. It tells you this is the element. Adjacent, right click to the counter. I like this way of display for very large numbers. If it's thousands, K plus is very good. If it's millions, M plus. And if you're lucky enough to go into the billions, you know it's a B. So use the counter element sparingly. Use it preferably only once on any page of your website and across your site and make sure that it really has that wow factor.
Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube videos for more video documents on our elements. Also, go visit us at our website at brizzy.io and join our Facebook community.